Hi guys, it's Wade here. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly how you can build your own customized WordPress theme using the Divi 4.0 Theme Builder. If you're not familiar with the Divi theme, uh, it is a, it's a very popular theme that I've personally used to build uh, close to 100 websites for my web design business. It's actually a, a theme which has a pretty customizable uh, sort of theme customizer, but with this really powerful page builder, it allows you to build completely customized pages for any page on your website. And uh, for a while there, it was, uh, it's one of those things where you could build just about any website you wanted using the page builder and a few uh, little tweaks on the theme. But uh, Divi have gone a whole different step this time and added the theme builder, which takes the drag and drop sort of customizer builder interface to areas of your theme. And the way it works is you can actually set up a customized header area for your navigation. You can completely customize how the body is laid out with these areas where you can pop your, your standard blog content, that sort of thing. And, uh, and then also a footer area. So you can build pages that uh, will go globally across your website and even to particular areas of your site if you want to, because there's no, no limit to how many uh, templates you can set up. And it allows you to then simply forget about the builder and use your standard WordPress editor to get uh, everything, get your content out there without having to bring up the builder every time. So it's a really powerful way to completely customize your WordPress website and get it looking exactly how you want it. And then it becomes very easy to update as you can just simply update with your WordPress editor after that because you've already built the layouts for the theme of your website. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna jump on the computer, and I'm gonna show you, uh, give you a quick summary of how the interface works, exactly what you can do, uh, what we've done with this uh, theme builder. And then after that, I've got a few videos in a playlist, which we'll link to below in the description, um, and also at the end of this video, and it'll actually walk you through, we're gonna actually go through the whole process, we're gonna customize a theme from start to finish, just using your global templates, just so you can see exactly what you can do, we do only scratch the surface because it's such a vast theme with so many options, but it's incredibly simple to use. So we're gonna go through and just touch on, go through the whole process, walk through it all step by step and show you exactly how it works. But uh, to start off with, we'll just give you a quick summary so you can see what to expect and uh, we'll go from there. So let's jump on the computer and get started. Okay, so now we're on the computer and you can see this uh very very ugly wordpress theme that i've put together for you and we're going to show you exactly how i built this theme uh in the following videos after this one but i just want to summarize and give you an idea of exactly how this works and what you can expect before we get into it so that way you can make sure it's going to do what you want to do and then see how it's done afterwards so this is basically what we've done is we built this customized header and like i said it's an ugly design it's not the best design in the world but what you can, it is a perfect example of what you can do. We've been able to add a background image, have a black fade over the top, add a button at the top in the navigation. We can move this around to wherever we want. Uh, we've added a nice little divider at the top. We've even added this section here, which if you're viewing a blog post shows a featured image, and then the text sort of creeps up over the top of that. And we've got this nice cool design, completely custom, and just built with a few clicks within the Divi theme builder. At the bottom of every page, we've been able to add in this nice um, call to action. And within our footer, another call to action followed by a widgetized footer area. So you can go into your normal widget areas as you would normally and add in what you want in there. As you can see, we've got a categories widget, calendar widget, pages, got some social follows, that sort of thing. And this page here, while it looks like it's a Divi Builder page, if I go in to edit the page, You can see straight away, we're just using the standard WordPress editor to edit this page. So that's one of the best things about it because the Divi theme is great for building, uh, the Divi page builder, I should say, is great for building really good, attractive pages. Not the fastest way to write content heavy posts. So uh, if I go back to view that page, we've used the theme builder to set this global template up that goes across our website. And it's pretty cool. So if I go, say we're on the about page, we go to my services page. And this is just a test site, not a live site. I wouldn't um, necessarily use this web, this design for anything in particular. Um, the layout maybe, but not necessarily the color scheme, that sort of thing. But you can see, once again, it's the exact same setup. We've got everything uh, in our design very easily. So if I go back into our dashboard, I'll show you exactly how that works. Now you've got the usual, if you've used Divi before, you've got your usual theme options. 
your theme customizer, which is the standard WordPress customizer, which of course, if I click on that, I'm not going to spend too much time here. I can go through and I can set up things like my typography, so the, t the font that the website uses, uh, body text size. Now I've set this within the theme builder so it's not changing. Um, but certain layout settings that you can use, I don't think this will make too much of a difference considering we're using the theme builder. But we've got all these options here to play with just as per normal, including our normal uh, header areas and that sort of thing. But uh, because we've actually set up a custom header, it looks like they've actually removed that from here. But uh, it's still very powerful even without the actual theme builder itself. So I'm going to close that one down. But the theme builder itself is really powerful. If I go in here and go into theme builder, you can see here I've only set up one template. I've got a global header, which if I open up, you'll see is just the Divi Builder. It's our header here. I can add padding. I can yeah, move things around if I want to. I can change these columns around, make it a little bit uglier. I can change the divider color. So if I go up to dividers at the top, I can make it black. So I've got all the normal Divi Builder options. I can add more rows and do what I need to do and then add in bits and pieces and actually make this weird header with a, an accordion on it. But you can do absolutely anything with it. So I'm going to close that down, discard those changes. Same with the body, I click in here. I can actually move this down or up and you know, I've got all the options I want for, I, that I have in the Divi Builder, but I'm actually building a theme so I can move this down, I can move that call to action around if I want to, I can move it over here. Uh, I've actually got a few rules set up here which is going to be causing a problem with that, but that's just to show you. But you can basically do what you need to here quite easily to build the body content portion of your page. So I'll discard those. And then of course we've got our footer. So I've set up this footer with a few rows um, with our widgetized area and our little bottom bar. Now it's quite easy. I can go in and change. I can even change this area to the side, normal sidebar if I want to. I can really just completely customize this with all the dynamic content settings within the actual uh, post itself, within the web website itself. So you can see here just from looking at that, we set up our header the way we want it to look, we set up our body, and we set up our footer, and that goes across the whole website. But what's really cool about this is you don't have to stick with the one design for your whole website. For one, you can still use your Divi page builder on certain pages if you wish to go that way. The other thing is we can add new templates in here, and we can have it affect only the home page, or we can pick a certain page that we want it to affect. We can use it on or exclude it from these two. If I want to exclude this template I'm using, I can click all pages, but then exclude it from the home page or the blog. So I actually have all these options here. I can even apply only to children of certain pages if you have like a, a page structure set up in such a way. And of course, <clears throat> we've also got the blog section. I can set up a, a template just for blog posts. I can also set one up for uh, the blog itself, which I do recommend because uh, you do have to add a blog module in there and um, you know, post with specific categories. So if you have one category you just want to show up looking different than any other category, this is a really powerful tool for, for working with that also. And you can even work with specific posts, but if you've got 50 or 100 posts on your site, like a lot of bloggers do, that might be a bit hard to go through and pick what you need. Literally every content page type, archive pages, author pages, you can set up different templates for if you don't want to use the global template you set up. Even in WooCommerce, your shop, your cart, checkout, it's all there, products. So all products, product archive page, projects, even your search result page and your 404 page, you can do the whole lot here and choose and set up your own. So I'm gonna set one up for say all posts and create that template and it will copy the existing template and I can actually disable global 
and I've got this body here that now if I change that it's not going to change over here as well and I can continue to add to that so maybe wait one for the blog and maybe I completely bin this and start a new one so maybe I build a custom one from there and I can keep on adding and adding and adding and then when I'm done I can even export for another website or import so if I want to build this on another website and import the settings over I can actually do that really easily because I can export everything here and then re-import it so it's actually really powerful and you can see we've got a history here we can bin and reset everything back to scratch like it's just really cool and we can duplicate this if we have all the settings we like and everything but we're going to change one or two things we can duplicate this whole thing or even turn off certain areas from being viewed so there's so many so many different things you can do like it's just every tiny detail of the website can now be edited with the Divi Builder so which means if you're familiar with the Divi Builder and if you're not it's very easy to use I've got a few videos on it which I will also uh, link to below in the description but it's just gives you the ability to build a website exactly how you want it so uh, what we might do we'll leave this video here for now We've sort of seen exactly how it's set up and how it sort of, uh, you know, what you can do with it. So we're going to go through the next videos and we're going to explore in more detail how to use your header, set, set up a custom header, set up your, your content page and um, just show you how that works. So stick around um, and uh, also check out, if you're not watching this on the playlist, there is a link to a full playlist in the description below and it will show you it'll run the videos in order so you can see exactly everything and how it works and how we built this uh, custom website using the Divi 4 builder and that way you can see exactly how it works for yourself now if you're happy to go ahead right now and just check out that uh, I will pop a link up on the screen now this is a link to the elegant theme site but it is an affiliate link I do make a commission if you purchase but as a web designer this is the theme I've used on pretty much all my websites bar one or two and that's like close to 100 websites I've built using Divi and that was before they released this theme builder the theme builder has actually just made things a whole lot easier it's taken things up to a whole new level so uh, I do highly recommend this very easy to use you don't need to learn any coding as a matter of fact uh, if you don't even know how to, how to edit photos you can still get a good looking website but if you are handy with Photoshop or something like that then you're your ability to create a good looking website has just become very easy. So I do recommend this if you want to check it out. Otherwise, I've got some more videos coming if you want to watch those. If you like this video, please like it. If you want more like this, please subscribe. And of course, any questions about Divi or anything that you'd like me to see, I don't know absolutely everything, but maybe I can help with a video. Pop some ideas in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys are after and uh, go from there. Otherwise, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.